on the sunny side of the street. Stay on the sunny side, okay? My name's David Morgan. This is The Music Shed. Spirit Box is on my sunny side because this past year I discovered them through you guys telling us to check them out. Now, Howie's in my ear right now making a lot of noise. Please mute yourself, Howie. Thank you. Fuck you! Fuck you! Okay, so they've got a new song out called Circle With Me. By the way, my name's David Morgan. This is The Music Shed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon and leave comments and all that great stuff. Okay, because we are beginning to be a legit channel here because we've got so many people i don't know we're either we're legit or we're not i don't depending on how many numbers we have i don't know that doesn't make me legit you're too legit to quit where am i going with that um constance holy roller and rule of nines we've done those songs check them out on the channel courtney mike bill and a new drummer named zev rose so i'm looking forward to checking him out and uh, you guys are all up on the comments saying circle with me, circle with the news, and you guys are loving it. So maybe I will too. If it moves me, then I will like it. But I've already subscribed to Spirit Box. So let's do it. Oh. Woo. Come out strong. Oh, so as far as their new drummer, he's a badass. Whew. They come out freaking strong. Pound it after that little intro they did. They hit you. You're already on a ride. And she's got those incredible growl vocals. She's amazing. Oh. Uh. Nice hair. She has a really uh, a rich tone to her voice. One of the one of my favorite vocalists of all time is Sarah Vaughn. Sarah's got this very kind of uh, a very warm depth to her voice that that she's got. I mean, she. She, I'm totally forgetting her name right now. Where is it? Courtney, Courtney. Sheesh. I was going to say Constance, but that was the song that we did. So, you know, I'm getting old. Um, that, that Courtney's got this, this really beautiful, warm, rich tone to her voice that I, that really draws me in. What are they wearing? This could all be yours. So, you got a lot going on here. The drop before the chorus. Things drop out. Hits you hard. More of a dynamic ride that we're on. And uh again, you know, I talk about this sometimes too, especially in in modern rock production, this, the drums are heavily processed. Meaning, after they recorded the drums, when they start the mixing phase, they're using a lot of different processors on the drums to make them sound like this. His drums naturally sound very different than this. There's no drum set that sounds like this. It almost just sounds like an electronic set in, in a way very processed and just part of their sound that they've got the metalness 
of what they're doing comes through a lot with the sound of the drums. And this Zev guy's is great. This could all be yours. Um, one more thing. This could all be yours. They put like an octave or two octaves below, like way down there. If you listen to that again, it's not, there's some layers there and they're hidden. It's like a special sauce that they're mixing in there, which is really, really fun. This could all be yours. And the chorus goes to halftime. Digger, 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 whatever riff that is in between the chorus going back to the verse. Nice stuff, spirit box. Nothing sacred, nothing lost. When birds are playing in my thoughts, the promise I can't feel. There is still a lot of stuff going on under her lead vocal. It's not just the lead vocal. Listen closely. You'll hear layers of other processing going on there. The octave below. I don't know what else, but it's it's some stuff that's adding to the mystery of the song. Stuff that if it wasn't there, you'd miss it. You wouldn't feel it as much. A lot of vocals there. So here's a chord progression. sit down on a piano and just like write and sing this song like this it's acoustically uh, whoops G sharp minor F sharp major C sharp minor E major but they're not doing that. This song could be very much acoustic with that kind of chord progression. It could be like a piano and vocal or acoustic guitar and vocal, or whatever, stripped down. It would still be a really strong song. How a band arranges their song to fit their sonic dreams, their sonic footprint, is a really interesting, another interesting topic to me. You know, I like to hear these songs in many kinds of ways, not just done by them in this way, but done differently. Another thing is for me, a, a, a song, if it is really a strong, compelling piece of music, it'll stand up in any format. However you play it, however you perform it, it will stand up and be effective. So, yeah, the use of synthesizers is a very important part of Spirit Box's sound. There's a lot of electronica going on here mixed with their heavy rock sound, metal sound, whatever you want to 
call it. They seem like a very experimental band to me. How do they reproduce this live? What are they do they are they playing to a click track and having all these other tracks like in there with them playing? Like what do they do? It's gotta be complicated. Really nice melody. Yeah, so it's got you got this incredibly hard rocking pillow that that they're on with this beautiful melody. Like that could be like a folk guitar and a vocal doing it there, but but they've got the sound of this heavy rock and roll going on underneath. It's a cool juxtaposition. It's an interesting kind of, you know, yin and yang thing. Circle with me. This could all be yours. Can't say that I totally understand what the song's about, if at all. A, because I'm super hungry. It's the last song we're filming today. B, because I could didn't understand all the words. But not disappointing. Again, Spirit Box. They've got a really cool sound. I love her voice. I love that she can do the demon and the angel in the same thing. It's it's uh, very skilled and very cool and very unique. There's not many singers who can do that well. Tatiana from Ginger was the first woman that I heard do it. And that was only not even a year ago. So I'm, I'm new to this whole genre, but I'm open to it. And Zev, dude, woo! Zev is kicking butt in spirit box you guys picked a good drummer um michael mike mike stringer playing guitar cool that his name is stringer and and that's courtney's husband apparently good for them must be fun to go on the road you get to be with your you know like not away from your spouse you're with them that's really cool so yes congratulations guys and um bill crook on bass, Spirit Box, four-person band that sounds huge and cool. And their music is meaningful. I'm looking forward to hearing that again and again and getting to know the song better. But thank you guys for coming along on this ride and telling us to listen to the song. You know I will. There's a lot of songs out there that we haven't gotten to yet. And the people who are persistent, I, the August Burns Guy, <laughs> I love you, man. We're going to do it. It's not my fault. It's Howie's. Okay. There's a lot of music that's on the list. We're going to get to it. Stay with us. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Keep listening to Spirit Box and supporting them. And leave comments and have a very, very musical day.